Hi, welcome from Hailing Island. The good thing about this low light is the, uh, the iPhone's quite good, so it doesn't seem to worry too much. I just wanted to welcome you to this blog. So I'm really, really grateful for people coming and uh, learning from it. I'll just point out some things that maybe you'd like to look at. The point of the whole blog is, is really, I'm not unique in this voice, but uh, I'm galvanising really what is out there, what has been out there to do with third level Christianity, the third stage of Christian growth, as in 1 John chapter 2. And um, the unique thing about this blog is whereas different people have different strands, I don't know if it's to do with the fact that I'm a piano tuner, just gathering notes together <laughs> when I'm tuning, that's what it is. But I'm gathering the different strands of third level Christianity and you'll, you'll see these sort of things. So if you want to look at probably the most important set of teachings on in the Yes I Am series down on the left hand side by Norman Grubb, his book Yes I Am, which I'm in the process of uh, doing voiceovers for. I've reached uh, six today, number six. There's also near there an introduction to third level thinking and you see different articles there, different blog posts. But I'm not just speaking on this blog about individual growth. This is a whole movement. This is something being born right now over the last 50 years and is corporate. It's to do, not corporate as in Fortune 500 corporate, corporate as in the body of the living Christ on earth right now. And really the, the first shoots of this vision started around 1950 with a man called G. H. Warnock who wrote a little booklet that has been so seminal called Feast of Tabernacles and you can see that series also down on the left hand side. But also on the negative side to help you catch up with what's going on um, a few years ago, uh, I was putting down some of the information from all the different people compiling information about the briars, the briars that are in everywhere, taking over everywhere and how it works. Fritz Springmeier is one of the people who was really, really clued up about that because God told him to get clued up on it. Uh, early on in his Christian life, decades ago. And there's been many, many people going around doing that, like Barry Smith, Grant Jeffrey. Um, there's, there's just loads. So that series will help you catch up if you don't know a lot about what's been going on. Also, there's a, a one called History as Not Taught in Schools by Jury Lina, or however you say his name, he's Estonian. And he, as soon as Moscow fell, got into the records which were opened to do with Freemasonry. Absolutely staggering history that is not known about, but how they have altered history. There's also another series on evolution Science versus evolution. Yes, science versus evolution. And you, you'll find that really interesting. Who you think you are is like all this teaching, but if you imagine a booklet made available for five, six, seven, eight year olds by Jackie Jin, very simple teaching that's now a whole generation have grown up with this little information booklet and they're now young adults and adults and married adults so that's a little animation 
on her booklet. Life in the Melchizedek Order is a series of early examples um, because more and more people are learning to live this new walk so there'll be many more examples now but this is an early list of examples that really struck me and I've compiled them together in a series called Life in the Melchizedek Order. Probably the greatest message of the whole of the last century not least because when he was delivering part of the message he was actually physically off the ground he was off the ground when he spoke some of this message. Ern Baxter delivering a message to 5,000 shepherds or, you know, pastors in the days of the early charismatic movement around the 70s. And it's called Thy Kingdom Come. Many people have said how pleased they were that I put that message up for people to listen to. The stages of growth. If you want some more learning and teaching, look up the stages of growth, but particularly very simple teaching, clear teaching from someone that was really desperate called Paige Pruitt, and she was learning through Norman Grubb, but she puts it so well, and it's called Alphabet Soup, parts one and two. I hope you enjoy this blog, and I hope it really feeds you.